Okay, so here we have the coordinate plane. I have my y-axis and my x-axis. And I've also got the points B, which is minus 3, minus 2, and A, which is 2, 1. And I'm going to form the line AB. Okay, so already we know how to find the length of AB using our formula. We know how to find the midpoint of AB using our formula. And we know how to find the slope of AB through using rise over run. So again, if we're using rise over run, we pick two clear points. So on the line AB is the point minus three, minus two, and also the point two and one. So how much do I rise by? One, two, three. So uh, it's rise over run. And I rise by three, and I run by one, two, three, four, five. And again, from looking at that, I can tell that that is a positive slope. So the slope of this line is three over five. But we can actually use another method to find the slope of a line. And it's through using a formula very similar to the distance formula and the midpoint. So I'm going to go through that with you now. Okay, so earlier on I spoke about how there was two ways to find the slope. The second way of finding the slope is by using your formula. Now, students sometimes ask me, well, which way are we going to get asked? And the reality is we could get asked on either. So I'm going to show you the second way now, which is finding the slope of the line, find the slope of the line that passes through the points 2, 2 and 5, 3. So we would probably use the formula here because we have no graph. We can't really do rise and run. However, if I was to plot these points on a graph and do rise over run, I would get the exact same answer. But I would say with this question, they're encouraging you to use your formula. So we follow the same simple steps each time. And hopefully these three points, or sorry, these three steps are very much common knowledge at this point. Step one, label your points. Okay, so my point is two, two, and three, five. And again, I label them the exact same way as midpoint and distance, x1, y1, x2, y2. Step two, write down your formula, which again is given to you in your junior cert. You don't need to learn it off, but it does need to be written down each time you do this question. And it is y2 minus y1, all over, and that line there means divided by x2 minus x1. And the third step is to sub in and solve. So instead of writing y2, I'm now going to write 5. And so it will be 5 minus, instead of writing y1, I'm going to write 2. All over x2, which is 3, minus, and instead of writing x1, I'm going to write 2. Okay, which will give me 5 minus 2 is 3 over 3 minus 2, which is 1. And if we can write in a whole number, we will. So the slope of those two points is 3. So it's a positive slope, so it would be quite a strong slope. If you think that this is a, a slope of 0, this might here might be a slope of a half, of 1, of 2, of 3. And so you can see here that quite a strong slope. You wouldn't be too happy if you had to cycle up that. Okay, just other words for slope would be obviously the ones we've mentioned already, which would be steepness. Another word might be gradient. Uh, something that you see on the treadmills is incline, or inline as it wants to come up with. Okay. And another word we use for slope in mathematics is M. So if you see the word M, it says find M, that means slope. And we'll meet that later on in our next video. So your first learning check tonight is to find the slope of Q and R. And obviously these are on graphs. And this would be the first method, method one, which is rise over run. And number two, find the slope of the following points, one and five and three and one. And for that one, you're going to be using your second method, which is your y2 minus y1 all over x2 minus x1 formula.